So let's take a look at Facebook's chances for success in China. Joining us from Shanghai this morning, Michael Clendon, Managing Director for Red Tech Advisors, and will also be sharing his views on earnings as well from Tencent and Sina. So, uh, Michael, let's uh, touch on Facebook first up because that is a hot uh, talking point, of course. Uh, Michael, do you think all of the hype of this Facebook IPO has been priced into even Chinese Internet shares themselves? I think to a certain extent it, it has. Um, the, the challenge, I think, with some of the, the Facebook peers in China is that they have not been nearly as successful with monetizing as Facebook has. And so I think those are still some key questions uh, that investors have before them. Of course, Cena reported yesterday, uh, and they also told investors at that time that they have not seen uh, significant uh, monetization of their microblogging platform. Uh, and they think that's still several months out. So this is still a big concern for investors in the Chinese SNS space. Yeah, monetizing eyeballs, that's uh, what these internet uh, companies are trying to do. But, uh, you know, with these valuations, I know you, you don't uh, look at Facebook in particular, but looking at these valuations of Facebook, would you say it's a bit rich from your uh, internet uh, expertise stance? Well, it certainly seems a bit rich, uh, but I got to tell you that some of the, the Chinese companies that we cover, actually on a valuation perspective, uh, actually are a little bit richer. I remember when Renren uh, IPO'd last year, it was actually valued at a much higher uh, multiple than we see for Facebook. Uh, again, I think whether it's Facebook, uh, Renren, or some of their peers, it really comes back down to uh, how can they monetize, uh, at what pace can they monetize, and what scale can they monetize. At least with the case with Facebook, they've shown that uh, their pace of monetization has been pretty rapid and the scale has been pretty high. I think the future for Facebook now, is, as we've seen in the last couple quarters, is can it keep up that pace? And there are some serious questions about that. Yep, that's right. And Facebook, of course, are being banned in China. So can they keep up this pace without the largest Internet to market in the world, uh, put their access into China at least? Uh, I think coming into China for Facebook, you know, as your previous commentator noted, uh, I think Zuckerberg would like to come here. Uh, but the challenge is going to be that uh, how do they reconcile their uh, commitment to privacy concerns with coming into China where essentially they would have to give that up? Uh, to cooperate and play on the government's terms. Facebook is already under considerable pressure in the U.S. Uh, about privacy, and, and I just find it really difficult to see how they could uh, manage such a compromise in China and not come under a lot of pressure, especially from the U.S. government. Yeah, and Michael, said Facebook can't bring anything new that the current guys don't already offer, right? Oh, that's very true. We've said that in the past. I mean, let's just say they do win through and they figure out a way to compromise and come in here uh, that respects both sides of the equation. So you have to ask yourself, what do they win? Uh, right now, they come into a market where a Tencent already has about four, has more than 400 million users on its microblog service. Sina has 300 million. Renren has more than 100 million. And all of these guys are pretty well established. So when Facebook comes in, they would be seriously behind. And in, in terms of offering some sort of differentiation, uh, they could probably only offer a global audience. Uh, but if they offer that global audience, again, the government's going to be very interested in, in what kind of dialogues are going on between, I think, the Chinese uh, users of that site and their international peers. And so you, again, run into privacy concerns and issues around censorship. So very tough, I think, for Facebook to make its way in China. I'm sure they'll try, just as Google did, uh, but they may <laughs> find that they have to make too many compromises. Yeah, okay, Michael, thank you so much for your insights.